Our viewing area has seen many fires over the last few weeks, and tonight one fire official says that's somewhat out of the ordinary in the summertime. Now the causes ranging from lightning strikes to electrical issues and other undetermined reasons. Sarah Hammond joins us in the studio now with why it's so important to have a plan to keep your family safe. Sarah. Well, in the last nine days, we've reported on 11 residential fires in the area. Two of them, like you just heard today, all left people displaced, hospitalized or dead, underscoring the importance of making sure you're doing everything you can to protect yourself and your family before disaster strikes and quite possibly during. It's been almost a week since that devastating fire in Kill Devil Hills killed three people and injured three others. Oh, absolutely 100% disbelief. Cheryl Volk's granddaughter, 13-year-old Sienna Farr, died in that fire while her mother, Laura, survived. Laura had said that when the fire alarm went off, um, she immediately woke up and opened up the bedroom door, which isn't what you're supposed to do, but you don't think. And she said instantly her bedroom was totally engulfed in flames. 13 News Now has reported on 11 residential fires in the last nine days, leaving behind injuries and a long road to recovery for many. Although this is not what we typically think of uh, as uh, the time of year that we see these kinds of fires. Captain Jim Ingledew with the Virginia Beach Fire Department says it is so important to have a working smoke detector and fire extinguisher in your home. Well, the important part is testing them and ensuring that they work. If your smoke detectors do go off and you smell smoke or see flames, you need to have a plan in place. It is very, very important that each family has a plan specific to their home. Ingledew says having a second exit point like a window, establishing a meeting point outside and doing practice runs are great pieces of a plan. Keeping doors closed as you move towards an exit can also save lives. If you're able to place a wet towel under the door, that can also stifle smoke. Get yourself and everyone else out of the house. And if you're staying at a hotel or rental property, you can bring along your own smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. You can also check the ones installed to make sure the light is blinking and that it's working. And don't forget to make a plan with your family once you arrive. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you.